Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from The Francophile. It's Jalen and Maria and we hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our French wedding. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or our blog, we are excited to share with you that we got married this summer in Reims, France as Americans. In this video, we're going to chat about the administrative processes that led up to our wedding, give you an explanation of what a French civil ceremony is like, and generally talk about all the different choices that we made for our wedding. We're also going to be showing you pictures and videos from our wedding day all throughout the video, so stay tuned all the way to the end. We thought we would start off this video with a bit of information about us for people who are just tuning in or for people who don't know us very well yet. So this month, Maria and I will have been together for eight whole years. Uh, we actually met in high school back in 2014 and uh, afterwards we graduated high school and went to college together and in our junior year of college we got engaged during a spring break sort of study abroad trip to Quebec, Canada. Uh, which was really fun, we had a great time. And um, after we graduated college, we decided to move to France together to do TAPIF, or the Teaching Assistant Program in France, and we have just recently finished up our master's degrees after that. So essentially for the first four years of our relationship, we were dating, and then for the last four years, we were engaged, and we thought it was about time to get married, and we were really excited that we were able to do so in France. Now that you know more about us and our relationship, we thought it was important to answer a pretty essential question to this video, which is, can Americans get married in France? And obviously since we did it, the answer is yes, but that yes is not unconditional. So like Maria said, there are conditions to getting married in France as to foreigners. For example, if neither you nor your family lives in France, you will not be able to get married in metropolitan France. In other words, you can't just come here on your vacation and decide to get hitched. So we were eligible to be legally married in France because we do reside in France full time. And of all the different possibilities for two foreigners to get married in France, we fall into the category of at least one spouse having at least one month of continuous residence in the same place in France. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into the logistics of how we got married here in France. So the first thing that we had to do is ask the town hall here in Reims how to get married as two Americans, and they quickly responded with a pré-dossier de mariage or a preliminary marriage application that basically asked us you know, simple background information and kind of our loose marriage plans. Um, and yeah, we did all of that by email and it went really smoothly. So after turning in the preliminary marriage application, they sent us all of the requirements for our dossier de mariage or our marriage application. Um, and in that there were tons of documents that we had to gather, but we had one year from that date to gather all of the documents. So in that we needed, um, our original and photocopy of our proofs of identity, original birth certificate, as well as translations, um, two sworn statements, we needed an original and photocopy of recent proof of address, uh, the list of witnesses that would be present, as well as their proofs of identity, and we needed a certificate of legal capacity to marry. Um, and again, all of that was done by email. So obviously that's a lot of documentation to fill out and get together, especially considering that our documents obviously had to come from the United States to us here in France. But after we got all of that figured out and turned in, the next step was to have an appointment at the town hall. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, May 11th, and Maria and I are here at the town hall and we're going into our pre-marriage appointment. submitted all of those documents electronically, we had to take the physical copies to our town hall appointment for verification. We also had to bring and show our student residence cards and our passports to prove our identities. In addition to that, we had to sign a bunch of forms, um, including forms confirming the details of our ceremony, our willingness to marry each other, and the accuracy of the marriage bans, which would be published publicly 10 days at least before the wedding ceremony. So the last thing that we did at our appointment is pick a date for our wedding ceremony. Um, we didn't really have too many requirements regarding the date. We knew we wanted it to be on a weekend because it was convenient for us as well as for our witnesses. And we knew we didn't want to wait a whole year until we got married. We wanted to do it pretty quickly, so we just picked a, 
a weekend and the date was set. The appointment went perfectly and we set a date. It's July 23rd at 2.30 in the afternoon. So we are here at the town hall for a second time because we had to come and change the date that we had initially chosen this morning. Um, one of our witnesses was not able to make that date. Small bump in the road, but we're getting married the 9th of July. So the whole process did take a long time from the day that we decided, okay, we wanna get married, let's reach out and get the information for that. That was March 7th, 2021, all the way to the day that we got married, wasn't until July 9th, 2022. So there was a good bit of time in between deciding and actually being married. So now that we've talked about all of the paperwork that goes into getting married as two foreigners in France, let's talk about the actual wedding ceremony. All couples getting married in France have to have a civil ceremony. If they wish, they can also have an additional ceremony afterwards, whether it be religious or secular. But for us, we just chose to stick with the traditional French civil ceremony, and that is what we called our wedding, our marriage. That was it. That was the whole thing. As Americans, the only weddings we had ever been to were American ones held in a church or outside. And we had especially never been to an American courthouse wedding. Um, and so in France as well, we had never been to any sort of wedding. So it was really awesome to be able to attend our very first French civil ceremony and it be our own. So for our French civil ceremony, there really wasn't any planning that had to be done. Um, we just had to make sure that ourselves and our witnesses came with ID and that we got there a little bit early. So we decided to get to the town hall about 30 minutes before our ceremony was scheduled to start and they let us in with about 10 minutes to spare. So after they let us into the building, we first went through security and then we were directed upstairs to the hallway right outside of the ceremony room where we were asked a few last minute questions. This is when we had to show our identification and the town hall employee checked to make sure that our IDs and our witnesses' IDs all matched all the information that we had previously given them at the town hall appointment. The next question was about exchanging rings during the ceremony. Since it is an optional part of the ceremony, not every couple does decide to exchange rings, but we wanted to, so we said, yes, we will be exchanging rings. And as a follow-up question to that, uh, we were asked if there was anyone in particular that we wanted to bring us the rings for the ring exchange. We honestly hadn't thought about it at all mm -hmm. in advance, so we said, no, not really, and therefore the officiant brought us the rings when it was time to exchange them during the ceremony. So after all of those questions were answered in the hallway, we were directed to enter the ceremony room so that our wedding could start. So upon entering the room, we saw that there were many rows of chairs, as well as the officiant and her assistant at the front of the room. Uh, we walked to the front row of chairs and sat down right in the middle, and then our witnesses sat on both sides of us. Um, and the room was really nice. There were lots of ornate decorations that made it feel really French. After sitting down, the officiant welcomed us and before the ceremony truly started, she couldn't help but ask what in the world two Americans were doing getting married in Reims. So we had a little bit of a chat about our life as Americans in France and after that is when the official ceremony truly began. The officiant read us our duties to each other as spouses from the French Code Civil and asked us if we were willing to fulfill these obligations and we responded with a loud and clear oui and uh, that's when she pronounced us married. Au nom de la loi, je déclare mariage et j'allène unis par le mariage. So after our ring exchange and our first married kiss, we were given several documents. We were given our Livret de Famille, which is our official family record book, five bulletins de mariage, which is our marriage forms, a Certificat de Célébration Civile de Mariage, which is the Certificate of Civil Marriage, and a handwritten note from the Mayor of Reims, Monsieur Arnaud Robinet, uh, wishing us well. So after all of that was done, we exited the ceremonial room where a table with the official marriage register was waiting for us and our witnesses to sign. And once the official marriage register had been signed by all the parties involved in our ceremony, that was it. I mean, the whole thing took maybe like 30, 40 minutes and that was the civil ceremony and we were officially married. So now that you know everything about how our wedding kind of transpired, we wanted to share some details that are a little less procedural. 
So you might be asking yourself, why did we decide to get married in France versus in the United States? And it's a valid question because it's not like we couldn't have gone back to the US to get married, but we did actively make the choice to get married here for a number of reasons. First of all, as you can obviously tell, we love France and France and the French language have both played a pivotal role in our relationship basically from the beginning. On top of that, we've also shared a lot of experiences here in France, including teaching with Tapif, as well as doing our master's degrees for two years, and we wanted to continue to build memories in our relationship in France. We also saw getting married in France as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, as two immigrants here, no matter how much we want to stay in the country, it's not always guaranteed and we may not be allowed to stay in the country. And so we saw a window to make a super special uh, memory here in France. And so we took that opportunity. And honestly, between getting married in our hometown where we grew up and getting married in our dream country, France, the answer was easy for us and we chose France. Another thing about our wedding is that we really didn't have any wedding guests except for our two obligatory witnesses and one professional photographer. Now, our wedding wasn't an elopement per se because obviously everyone knows that we're together, we were engaged for a long time, our family and friends knew that we were getting married, but for us, it's always really been us against the world ever since day one of our relationship and we wanted to honor that and honor our comfort and our happiness on our wedding day and for those reasons we decided to get married with only the people that really, really needed to be there. However, even though we didn't have wedding guests, we still wanted to share what the day was like and how special it was for us. Uh, whether it be with our audience here on YouTube and our other social media or our family and friends. And so that's why the photographer was so important to us. So the last detail that we wanted to touch on regarding our wedding is that it was low budget. Um, as you know, Marie and I were students at the time and we're pretty transparent on our platforms about our student budget. So we didn't do anything extravagant for the wedding. Yeah, so we didn't really do anything that cost money that wasn't like the basics. I didn't pay to get my hair or makeup done or even my nails. We didn't get a caterer for anybody because we didn't even have any guests. <laughs> Um, we took pictures in a park that was nearby instead of renting out a space to do that. What else? Um, we didn't send out invites, no save the dates, all sorts of the typical wedding things that are very costly, we skipped them entirely. So the things that we did pay for obviously were my dress, mm -hmm. your suit, yep. and our photographer. Yeah. And that was basically all of the costs that we incurred. We did get really lucky in that we have such sweet friends who are our witnesses who treated us to a very nice dinner afterwards, which was very special, but we did not have to pay for that because they treated us to it as a wedding gift. So all in all, I think that we stayed true to ourselves for our wedding. It was low key. We didn't spend a ton of money um, and we just celebrated our love uh, together over all these years. And so honestly, for us, it was the perfect day um, and I think we'll remember it forever. So the question that we keep getting asked in person and online after our wedding is how is married life? And so we thought we would end the video by chatting about that for a second. Yeah, so married life is really awesome, but honestly, we have already lived together. We've already been through a lot together as a couple. We share expenses. And so it's really just a continuation of the relationship that we already had. Like we said, we enjoyed getting married here in France and we are glad to have the paperwork that legally recognizes us as the partners that we've always been. So that's everything that we had to say about our French wedding. And if you have questions about getting married in France, living in France as Americans, or even just us as a couple or as individuals, please let us know in a comment. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all of our social media. We do have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and our blog. And we will see you all in two weeks. Bye. Bye.